Who's next for AJ? We tell you who is and who isn't. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to the hot stove. Uh, so AJ is naming a lot of names. Uh, I want to make sense of this and, and, and set some realistic uh, expectations. Um, so th there's been three names. Uh, AJ mentioned three names in, in a recent interview that he did of who he would fight next if he can't get either Wilder, Wilder or Fury. Uh, that was Jarrell Big Baby Miller, uh, Louis King Kong Ortiz, um, and of course Dillian White. Um, first of all, let's start with Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Um, that's not going to happen in April for sure. Uh, probably won't happen at all next year. Could happen by year's end, uh, but I don't think it will. I think he'll fight Usyk um, late next, uh, late in tw well, I guess this year now, late in 2019. So I think in April uh, he won't fight Jarrell Miller, um, and, and he won't fight him again in his second fight of the year. Uh, Big Baby isn't ready, um, and Eddie wants to get him a bit sharper. Um, he knows that this is a big fight. Would be AJ's introduction to the U.S. It would happen at Madison Square Garden. It would it would it would be a big big fight. Um, as draw Big Baby Miller's from Brooklyn, he would have that New York fan base. Put the fight in the Garden. You'd have a heavyweight title fight between a, a New Yorker and and a Brit. Uh, would bring over the fans from the U.K. Would bring it. Would pack out the crowd in New York. It would be a big fight, uh, and Eddie couldn't lose. Right? If draw Big Baby Miller wins. It would be a huge, huge, massive uh, win for Eddie, as you'd have a, a draw Big Baby Miller can talk the talk. He's an intelligent guy. Um, he's a great interview. And, you know, just being 315, I mean, 315 pounds, it, it makes him likable, right? It's like that Chris Farley effect. It's like big guys are likable, and, and, and people would like him. Uh, he would have a massive following being from New York. He would have that fan base behind him. He'd be a star. He'd be the American heavyweight champ of the world. Um, it, it would be a big deal. Um, so it wouldn't matter to Eddie Hearn who won that fight, um, but he wants to make sure it's... At the right time, and and, and I, I don't, and I'm a fan of Drell Big Baby Miller. It's not the right time. He did not look great in his last fight in Kansas. Um, it wants to get him a little sharper, um, and and you know, see where he goes. But that fight could happen by years, and I do think it will it will happen in 2020 instead. So I I, I don't say the Drell Big Baby Miller fight's not going to happen. I say it's not going to happen yet. It's not going to happen in April, but it. Very well could, and I say more likely than not, does happen if AJ still has uh, the heavyweight championship um, a year from now. The second name, Luis Ortiz, King Kong. This isn't going to happen, period, paragraph. Let's move on. Um, look, he's not fighting King Kong Ortiz. Uh, there's a bunch of reasons why. Mainly because, well, he's not with Eddie Hearn. All right, King Kong Ortiz is not with Eddie Hearn. Um, he's on the other side, the PBC Al Heyman side. It's not going to happen. Uh, Eddie Hearn, and I, I don't mean to hate on AJ. I'm not hating on AJ. This is not hating on AJ. I'm not saying AJ's running scared. I don't think AJ's scared of anybody. I think AJ is willing to fight anyone. I don't think Eddie Hearn is willing to risk it. Eddie Hearn has invested so much money and energy into the heavyweight division. He's got the heavyweight division outside of Wild and Fury. He's got everyone else. He's got the division in a chokehold. It's his division. Um... And he's not going to lose that. He's not going to lose, take that and lose that to, to, to a guy like Luis Ortiz or even guys like Wilder or Fury. He's going to keep the heavyweight money in the Eddie Hearn circle. He has enough fighters in the division which would make interesting fights to do that. Um, he, Eddie Hearn and DeZone and, and Matrim have, have the heavyweight division in, in a chokehold. Um, he's invested into it and, he, and he's going to enjoy the fruits of his investment now. Um, he's not going to let Luis Ortiz seize control of that division. Uh, Luis Ortiz is not one of his guys. Luis Ortiz is not a big draw. So uh, an AJ Ortiz fight doesn't have any more luster than an AJ Dillian White fight. It's probably got less. Um, so there's just no reason for Eddie to make this fight. Even if it is a good fight, I do think it is a good fight. And that brings me to my last point. And again, I am not hating on Anthony Joshua. I like Anthony Joshua. AJ could lose to Luis Ortiz. That could happen, okay? Look, I don't mean this to be disrespectful. I, I would pick AJ to beat Ortiz. I, I'm saying I, if my money was on the line, gun to my head, who would I pick? I'd pick AJ. I'm not hating. He's younger, and he could and would likely win a fight with Luis Ortiz. 
But this fight is big trouble if it gets into a pure boxing match. If it's just Ortiz and AJ boxing from a distance, uh, boxing in the mid-range and boxing from the outside, Ortiz could win. If, if, or, if AJ can't get in, land uppercuts, rough them up, um, he could lose. He really could. Uh, Ortiz is a master boxer. He's really technical. He's a great technical fighter. He jabs well. His skills are really good for a guy of that size. He could outbox him. He could. Um, it's a high risk, very high risk, low reward type of fight. Ortiz has no fan base, no natural fan base. He has no following. He's not a big draw. So it wouldn't even be a massive payday or anything like that. It's not worth the risk. So that fight is not going to happen. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think that either one of those guys would be next? Um, leave your thoughts, comments below, and tell me why you think I'm being crazy. Because I think if you think either one of those guys are going to be next, you're being crazy. Even though I would love to see either one of them. Um, so that leaves us with Dillian White. <clears throat> this is going to happen next. Period. Paragraph. That's it. This is a AJ's April opponent. It doesn't do much for me. It's a decent fight. And look, Dillian White has earned the opportunity to fight... Anthony Joshua, he's put together a four, you know, about three wins last year. You look, go back 13, 14 months, he's put four wins together. Uh, he's got three knockouts. He's, uh, he's got two knockouts against um, Chisora and Lucas Brown. He, he's put himself in contention to do this. There's no one out there right now in the heavyweight division with a, a, a better recent resume than Dillian White. I'm not a big Dillian White fan. I don't think Dillian White will do particularly well with AJ, but he's earned this opportunity. Just like I said, Jamal James and, and Ugas and those guys have earned a shot at welterweight straps. Luke, uh, Dillian White has earned this. He had two sensational knockout of the year type knockouts. You got to pick one of them, but t either one of them is a good case for knockout of the year, either Brown or Cesaro. And he's gotten better. I mean, I, I, I think he's a little wild, but he's, he's jabbing. He looks good. He's got the wins. He's got the resume to, to support him getting a, a, a shot at the heavyweight strap. Now, what he does with it is out of my control. Uh, I, I don't love the fight, but, it, you know, look, if, if Dillian White, if, if AJ can't get either Wilder or Fury, which isn't going to happen because Eddie Hearn's not going to love fight those guys either, Dillian White has earned a shot to fight for the title. I think he'll lose, but he's earned the shot to, to, to get in the ring and, and challenge for the belt. Um, and it's Eddie keeping the money in the Eddie Hearn circle. So this will happen. Um, it's not if, I mean, that fight's going to happen next. Love it or hate it, that's the April fight. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think there's any any chance I could be wrong? Do you think he could fight any of those other names? Uh, let me know what you think. For a special edition of the Hot Stove, this is 3D Boxing. Signing off, saying thank you, and God bless. Enjoy 3D Boxing vlog videos? Show us some love by clicking the like button. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3dboxingvlog.com is also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.